What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bandicoot Music back at it again, man. I know I promised daily videos. I was gonna drop one yesterday, but technical difficulties arose. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna drop two today. You know? Now, this is part four. Okay, today, we were talking about the first fight. I got into it. You know what I'm saying? The first fight, I got into it with somebody that nobody really liked, nobody really fucked with. You know, when you're in jail, you know, you really have to watch how you carry yourself because depending on how you carry yourself, it can, it can have people really look at you some type of way. And you don't want to be categorized as that certain way in jail, you know. Um, it, in prison, it's like the truest form of birds of feather flock together. You know what I mean? Like, like carry yourself the way you want to be treated and treat others the way you want to be treated. You know what I mean? So, last video I left off saying, you know, that the showers were not up to normal people's standards, you know. Um, what it was like when I when I first stepped out for tier time on the tier, who who approached me, what was said, a little bit about jail politics. So now we're about to get into the juicy stuff that I know that a lot of people want to know about. So of course, when you're incarcerated, whether it's a jail, prison, uh, shit, I'm pretty sure even in quarantine right now, like eventually something's gonna get on your nerves, something or someone. But the difference is that you can't react like how you can react on the streets. You know what I mean? Because there's consequences, you know what I'm saying, for acting out of pocket or doing something that's not seen as normal inside of the jail or whatnot. Um, so with that being said, this actually happened fairly quickly when I got to county. You know what I mean? And um, just give me one second. got people doing construction outside of my house so I'm just trying to mute as much noise as possible so excuse me on that but um yeah this this happened fairly quickly when I arrived to the jail you know um I would say I probably got in my first fight about three days three days into uh my little journey within CCDC you know what I mean the way it happened was I had woken up early one morning and I decided to actually go out to tier in the morning time. Usually, especially being 16, nigga was, nigga was lazy. Motherfuckers be lazy and shit, so. A lot of the youngsters my age would sleep in during the first tier time then come out during like, like fucking uh, afternoon tier or something like that. So, but this time, I'm like, you know, I'm up. Shit, fuck it. I got some little bit of coffee that my celly shot me. Fuck, I'm finna walk a couple laps around the tier, and I'm finna jump on this phone. I might even take my little early shower. Shit like that. You know what I mean? So, I step out into the tier. I press my little button. You know, they click the doors. They let everybody know that bottom tier is coming out for tier time. They click the bottom door. Doors or whatnot. Um, I, I go out. Not too many people out there. A couple Pecker Woods. A couple... Southsiders, you know, not too many youngsters, few OG black motherfuckers getting their push-ups in, you know, taking care of their body, you know, that really live that strict regime schedule inside the prison system, you know what I mean? Like them OGs that really are like about working out and like not becoming a statistic when they get out, shit like that. So, you know, in the midst of me walking my little couple of laps, I end up walking around the day room and there's this pecker wood that nobody really liked. Like I said before, nobody fucked with this nigga. There was rumors of him being a snitch. There's rumors of him being just all bad and shit. You feel me? So I'm walking around labs and he's going off about some shit that I don't know. 
all I know is like how I got involved. So he's rambling off with the lips to his people, you know, the white boys or whatnot. And then I hit the I hit like the little I hit the corner and he see me and then he has the audacity to say some shit along the lines of and see this is what happens when our kind mix with the enemy you come out with much like that clutches pearls I'm appalled you feel me so instantly I'm, me just being me and me just being so young minded and me being so quick tempered what you got me fucked up bro you a bitch the number one word you ain't supposed to call nobody in that shit. That word right there can get you killed depending on who you say it to. So let's just pause right, right fast and let's just say some real shit to the youngsters out there in the streets nowadays. So all that not listening to your mama, not listening to your daddy, not listening to your real friends. You know, like the friends that say, nah, bro, I don't think you should do that for real. Like those friends, you know what I'm saying? Like... All of y'all just loose lip, cussing out your mama, not having no respect, shit like that, bruh. That shit's gonna get curved real quick when you step into that jail, man. For real. When you step into that jail, you're gonna learn what respect is. Because respect in there, I mean, it's given, but it's also earned. But there's different types of respect. Me, I just want respect as a real nigga. Someone who's just solid. I'm not the toughest you know what I'm saying? I'm not the strongest. I'm not the quickest. I'm not Conor McGregor. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but at the same time, I'm a man. I just want to be respected as a man. So why not practice before you find yourself in a situation like that, y'all? Because trust me, it may look cool watching Tay K. It may, it may look cool you know, 6 9 caught a K, snitch, snitch 9. You know what I mean? It might look cool. Yeah, Kodak Black got locked up. You know when you get out, you know, he finna have that, that heat, that, 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 that gas. But just think through their perspective. Like, think what it feels like to be a bird in the cage. You know what I'm saying? Imagine what it feels like to be your dog when you put him in to the kennel at night. Just ponder on that. Now let's get back to the story. You know what I mean? So, I called him the number one blasphemous thing you can call anybody in jail. The B word. As soon as I finished the ch at the end of that word, he was already swinging. Now mind you, he was a big Big ass peck of wood, like a Hulk Hogan ass nigga. I ain't gonna say no names, but Hulk Hogan ass nigga. You feel me? So he swung. Woof. I huh. I duck. I go for his legs. Double leg takedown. Uh. 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 Pull his legs back. I pull him down. His head hit. You know what I'm saying? One of the tables that were in the day room. Like I said before, I'm not Conor McGregor, y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to be a honey with y'all, bro. I ain't beat this nigga up. He ain't beat me up. But he probably would have won. This is what happened. So, after he hit his head on the table, he got up hella quick. He scrambled hella fast. And ended up getting me in a cold headlock. The coldest, colder than the showers we have to take in there. Put me in the coldest headlock I have ever been in in my life. It was the first time when I really had to think to myself, like, is he going to kill me? This is like my first grown man fight. You know what I mean? In my head, I'm thinking, is he going to kill me? I don't know how far he's willing to go. As soon as the panic really started kicking in, out of nowhere, I hear. Bing, 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 bing. 
through the stars and dizziness and pain. I opened my eyes to see my savior. A five foot two white boy who ran with the Southsiders known as Little Weddle. I, I don't say names, but there's so many fucking Little Weddles, it doesn't even matter, bruh. Bruh. This, he was a youngster. He was about 13, 14 at the time. He ended up running up on this nigga, punching him, getting him off me, right? When I came back to consciousness... And I was realizing what was going on. I jumped right back into action. Like, this nigga got me fucked up. I got to prove a point. You feel me? I got to prove a point. When you in jail, you got to prove points. Nigga, if I get up after you just choked me out and I'm just a deer in the headlights like, what just happened? Everybody is going to try me. Everybody's going to test me. So, I proceeded to, uh, uh. Throw my punch right back on him. You know what I'm saying? Right back at him. Beam and beam. Now we jumping him. We got him by the phone pole. Now the phone pole, like I said before, is right there in the day room. It's like this obelisk. And it has like four blue phones on each side of the pole. But you know, anyone who's been locked up in county, you know how them phones, they have the cord. And you take them off. You feel me? When you take them off, they got a little cord. So you can really kind of, it's kind of like a, like a lock in a sock. So we got them by the pole and I got the telephone and I'm bam, bam, bam. Now this ain't to make it seem like I'm, I'm the toughest thing on the block. This isn't to try to be cool, y'all. I'm just telling you really what happened. Cause trust you, trust, well, trust me. My heart was pounding the whole time. You feel me? So we hitting him with the phone, bing, bing, bing. He ends up running to the rotunda. Ends up banging on the window. Boom, 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 boom. They jumping me, they jumping me. You feel me? Lil Weddle, he skirts off. He goes to his people. You feel me? I go back to my cell. You know what I mean? I'm washing my hands. I'm trying to get everything off. I tell my son, like, hey man, I just fought Wooty Wop. He's like, no, nah, you lying, bruh. I'm like, I'm serious, bruh. He's like, what? What do what? Next thing I know, Cap's done. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, 18 motherfucking sir officers came in this unit, bruh. Sir officers are like the six foot five, hillbilly, corn fed, Nebraska white boy guards that they have in our motherfucker. The big motherfuckers, like linebacker ass niggas. You feel me? Like, you have to have, like, certain physical requirements to even be a part of the CERT team. And CERT team is like the emergency response team. You feel me? But CERT, C-E-R-T, is like critical emergency response team. You feel me? So, they come in here determined to figure out what the fuck just happened, right? And boy, did they figure it out. And I'll let y'all know in part five. Part five, we're going to talk about the hull. All right, gang. Comment down below. Tell me if you're feeling the cat. Like, subscribe, share it if you can. I appreciate your time and effort to click this this uh, video and to really help me try to do something new in my life. You know what I'm saying? Just a regular nigga now trying to do regular shit. You feel me? Until next time, gang.